Right, 10 April 2024, and today I've got yet another update on Zimbabwean political, business, sport, and African news, and I've got a bit of military news today. So today I'm going to spend a bit of time on the ZIG. Uh, the ZIG is the new Zimbabwe currency, and uh, greetings to all those that are joining me now. <laughs> what is going to happen in Zimbabwe is a drama, a, a big drama, because what has happened is uh, after all the good work that the governor of the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe has done, uh, that is uh, Governor John Mishavano, yesterday he went out to explain uh, the ZIG, the technical aspects, the reserves, how the ZIG is backed by gold and so forth. He did very well in explaining the ZIG currency. The Zimbabwe government has gone and spoiled the party. So, specifically, government departments are refusing to accept payment in ZIG. And there are particularly two departments yesterday that were refusing to accept payment in ZIG. And that is the Foreign Affairs and International Trade Ministry. Uh, they normally do certain certifications and they refuse to accept ZIG outright uh, the registrar general's office which all issues passports and all other documents they refuse to accept zig uh, you know that the zig swipe is now working for most banks uh, i was talking to people who say that zim switch is already announced so if you look at uh, today's press zim switch has announced that uh, their zig system is now working and still the the government of zimbabwe through these departments that I have explained to you, they refuse to accept the ZIG payments. They only want to take payments in US dollars. So we already have a massive problem uh, because what it means is that as soon as the ZIG comes out, we're going to eventually have the same system where you have to carry a US dollar to government. You have to pay your tax in government. You have to pay for services uh, in US dollars to government which makes no sense at all uh, and the governor and the minister of finance have to deal with this situation that is developing very very quickly uh, otherwise the zig is going to dramatically drop in value uh, the work that they've done in trying to conscientize people about what the zig is is going to be undone by the actual implementation so most policies of mnangagwa they fail at implementation stage so they plan very well or they, they, plan, they don't plan well, but they, they tried this time around uh, to communicate after the fact. And right now, government departments, the very same people who are supposed to be protecting this currency are the ones that are rejecting it. And I want to see what is going to happen today. And also, we want to see what is going to happen with the government employee salaries. Uh, as you know, this coming week, uh, government employees start getting paid. And... We expect that these employees will be paid in ZIG. That is what is going to happen. That is what was announced, that the employees are now going to start getting paid in ZIG. And to solve this problem, uh, I can uh, give some suggestions, uh, free suggestions for you, Governor Mishayavan. Uh, I saw Kuti, Governor Mishayavan called people who comment on ZIG trolls. <laughs> not troll. So, my troll, that's all right, but the governor will uh, what the governor needs to do is to take the best practice. So take best practice, international best practice. So in South Africa, there is an interbank market which is introduced, but there is also a retail market for forex. So forex, I can go tengu pese pese, and then there is a remittance market. So there are three forex markets. That is the interbank market, the remittance market. In the retail market the retail market is if i want to travel i can buy forex at a bank or at a beirut change so we need to introduce that and then so that means in zimbabwe must get paid in zimbabwe dollars or in zig and then if they want to do something outside the country they go to a beirut change and as i said yesterday cash is the last resort cash must not be used everywhere so the swipe must be used everywhere the swipe must be available all over the country. And also, eco cash. I found a good transactor. So, if I'm going to eco cash, 
they must only receive and send out cash to different people but not from the wallet so if i send someone money in eco cash they must take it out and then after they take it out and they want to send it to someone else they must send it to someone else so at the moment there's money in different places and now we have this situation where government departments are saying they don't accept zig they want to be paid in US dollars because the input costs are in dollars so what this means is that governor must create a market for the government departments so that when they receive the zig then they can also receive us dollars not through an allocation but they can take money from their bank and go to their bank and buy foreign currency because at the moment they have to find the forex themselves and use it to import let's say they're importing paper uh passport paper or, or, or those metal things that they use in the registrar's office which is why they're saying they don't accept the the zig so basically we have a big problem developing and it could result in the zig totally collapsing uh, because the government department are refusing to accept the zig so i want to see how the reserve bank of zimbabwe is going to deal with this but the other problem we have is that communication on the zig is now being done by zanu pf so all the communication online regarding the zig is being done by the by the zanu pf party it's no longer being done by the reserve bank of zimbabwe uh, i see a lot of guys even an awitno they've jumped into the bandwagon communicating on behalf of the zig which is a very big problem now i think we've covered our headline uh which is to say uh the zig is being rejected by government departments specifically the ministry of foreign affairs and international trade and the registrar general's office yesterday were rejecting the zig now they don't want to be paid in swipe and that is a big big problem so this is a risk on this zig that needs to be addressed immediately this thing will not work if the government is accepting or rejecting payments in zig because we're back to what was happening now with the current zimbabwe dollar if they do not accept you can foresee this thing collapsing and i'll be back to calling it chizig <laughs> chizig means chinenge chichidona uh, that is what is going to be happening uh, and people have tried their best uh, Zanu, they've been trying to prop up this thing but the moment the government departments fail to take the zig it's going to collapse now let's go to some news uh, very quickly uh, so that in the Jambiri and the gym. So we want to start with the death of the CIO a director. So the CIO director, Jeremiah Murenje, has died. So this guy is a war veteran, was 60 years old. He died in a car accident on the Harare uh, Linda Road. So that is the death of the CIO director. Uh, it's reported in the H Metro newspaper. You can go and see that story in the H Metro newspaper. Tenai Biti has quit politics. So totally quit politics. He's no longer going to be in politics. He says he is not the vice president of the CCC. He says he's not a member of any rotational presidency. And he says Kuti, Iye, Achadi, quit politics. He wants to focus on his career as a lawyer. Uh, that interview is going to come out with blessed mishanga but it's already being reported by the news the newspaper as you know those people are the same so uh blessed mishanga and the news day they all work together for trevor Nube, uh, and trevor news newspapers are owned by Munangab. so <laughs> i don't think he owns it but what has happened is Munangaba's daughter is married to the guy who's owning the news day newspaper that's why nishiramba nichiti News day in the Ramnanga because I don't know for not in Kwasha. Taka put the Zig Ribo. So I last week. You saw what happened. Uh, they said the Zig was bow in the News Day newspaper. And those names are Tika. Now let's go to other stories. The Harare City Council has received vehicles, uh, two vehicles from city parking. You can see the vehicle there on the screen. And this story is being reported all over. Uh, it's all over the internet. Then the military chiefs from Uganda, Kenya. Uh, and uh, I don't know which other country here, that in Zimbabwe, uh, watching what is called the Liberation Museum. So the Liberation Museum is being constructed in Zimbabwe. It's going to contain uh, all the history of liberation in Southern Africa. Uh, on this weekend, 
I'm going to come back and I'm going to unpack for you the rituals that are being performed by Mnangagwa and why they're being performed. I'm going to also introduce to you the biggest spirit or the biggest spirit of war in Zimbabwe. And I'm also going to introduce to you the 12 chiefs of Zimbabwe and the 12 uh, centers or spiritual centers of Zimbabwe and why Zimbabwe is like the Bermuda Triangle. It's, uh, it's why Zimbabwe in a Chinu Chakaita say Bermuda Triangle. It's listed in the world as one of the seven places in a, the same phenomena as the Bermuda Triangle. And I'm going to unpack that for you this weekend. I know the most of you, you like to hear uh, these stories about the spirits. And also, these are the most viewed stories on Gambaku Media. Uh, currently, our, view, uh, our views on the rituals that Mnangagwa have been performing are now over uh, 50,000 just on uh, our normal platforms. And I'm sure now that we're on TikTok, it's going to be bigger over there. So look out for that. Uh, this Liberation Museum is part of the rituals. And I will unpack for you who is the godfather of Zimbabwe. Why all of us are from one family as Zimbabweans. And I will unpack that for you. Jesus, I tell you, Nangaba, Jay Pupu, as Zirizo. Nangaba, I got a good one, was okay, my jokes. But in Tudaku, unpacker, I the reality in why Zimbabwe has got a black spot. So, Mugawa, one of the young guns, the 160 year case of Zimbabwe. That is an introduction in the six spirit, the six rituals of Mbianeanda. You can go and look there and, and see what Charwe did over there. So, it's a very, very important development. And where we are going, these are going to become very, very important. Ngati uh, Ndeku ZANU-PF. ZANU-PF is displaying uh, some people that they say are coming from um, CCC. Uh, my citizens who have joined uh, uh, ZANU-PF. So you see that guy in the center, Aneskaf, uh, that is one of the ZANU-PF guys, is welcoming all the people that he says are coming from CCC. All I can tell you is, <laughs> so forget about it. If you see someone jumping to Zanu, they're not a young person. They do not understand what is happening. The only thing that they do is they take you out of circulation. Jonas uh, ever since. You see, so Apasina appear at Jonas because Zanu. Then let's go to historian Natara. I will be talking politics. It's no longer in politics. Uh, so there's now one CCC that is led by Promising Kwananzi. So the money is now going to go to Promising Kwananzi. Washman Nube, he no longer has partners. Karenyi Kore has reportedly fled and she is now in Zambia. That's what I heard from someone. But I haven't verified Kuti what happened. Remember, Karenyi Kore hasn't spoken. So let's see what she says. But I, I understand Kuti now there's only one CCC which is led by Promising Kwananzi. Very soon, uh, Washman Ngobe is going to have to capitulate and Odzoke Rakunevangwe. Then I want to go to Benjani Marwari. Benjani Marwari has joined as a coach, uh, a team known as Portsmouth Juniors. So he's now the coach there at Portsmouth Junior. And he's going to do very, very well. Uh, Benjani is, is a nice guy. I like, I like Benjani. And then in sports, uh, sorry, in, in entertainment, uh, Macheso is fired. He's banned Denza. Denza Anunzi Majus has been fired by Macheso. Uh, I think Akaramba Kutamba Masongs is Zanu because Macheso is now a, a member of Zanu after receiving Chimota Chawikino. Nakafonera Uyu Anunzi Uyu Victor two days ago. Some guys gave me number ya Victor and some information. Kuti Mota Zina Victor. So, Ndakanyo Rana Victor a message. Nga cheke phone yake. Kana ida kuona zonaka muza ya papo. Victor. Ndicha kutawari na Victor. Ndoku phone ya zonaka naka. Totawara before I. I put it. Nyae yoyo. Yo, Tudaku put it. Very very soon. Kuti. Who is behind Victor? Zonaka phone ya 
and Zuku Import was saying, Mota, just put this up very, very soon. And Victor has got my, my message. She vibe, Nagam Yora Zakari, Anozia, number young, they all know what I'm talking about. Then let's look at uh, Chamisa's tweet. Uh, Chamisa is saying, uh, he spoke on the Chamisa News channel uh, about the death of young Yolanda Ozi, uh, who was crushed by a building. You can see Yolanda here, the 19 year old girl, who was crushed by a building in Harare. So he's consoling the Ozi family. And then we go to South Africa where everything's falling apart. Uh, the Independent Electoral Commission of South Africa is now compromised. After uh, Jacob Zuma was allowed to be back on the ballot paper, the Independent Electoral Commission of South Africa has issued a statement slamming the court and saying they must explain why they gave that judgment. Saka Chigumba. I think Agudakuzo Imbloywa Uko, South Africa Chigumba, is going to go over and become a member of the Independent, Independent Electoral Commission of South Africa. But during the election, the rig before the election, they chuck you out of the ballot paper. That is what they wanted to do to Jacob Zuma. Uh, Jacob Zuma, if you play with that man, many, many people are going to die because he's got massive support uh, across the country. So if they play my, my tricks, uh, there's going to be a lot of trouble in South Africa. So I want to then conclude with uh, what's happening with some of the projects. Um, Mnangagwa's projects are not finishing. And the Guayashangani Dam is a case in point. No work is happening there. It has totally stopped. And this is crazy because it's unexplainable what is happening. Uh, why Mnangagwa Ishtanga project, they notice a pair. So, Zakutula General is, look at what has happened at Guayan Shagani. Uh, a picture was taken yesterday. And there's absolutely no work being done at Guayan Shangani. Uh, party empty. You can see, Kuti, I think uh, more than a year ago, uh, if I'm not mistaken. This is because contractors are, are not being paid. And apparently, the Minister of Finance is trying to pay contractors at one as to one. So I, I've got a guy who called me yesterday. He says, Kuti, the government has been taken to court by multiple people for trying to pay two dollars. So if someone charged $80,000 in 2019, they're trying to pay that person $2 or $3. And this is crazy. Now, that's why Muchonama Project, Asilkupera, uh, people are furious with the Wanomnangagwa for this behavior. So my project, Samnangagwa, Asilkupera, my roads are in shambles. Uh, road is just Zamunuzia, Zagaparara. And this is a big, big problem. Uh, and Currently, the figures that you are getting from the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe do not include how much the government owes locally. The government of Zimbabwe owes multiple amounts of money. And if they change it to ZIG, they are owing a lot of money uh, on top of the lack of understanding of how much money is in the eco cash system. Uh, that eco cash system, how much money is circulating in that eco cash system. So the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe needs to go in there and look at what is happening there. Then they need to stop a transaction moving from one person to another. So can I teach you my, my, my mobile wallets? Mobile wallets here Standard Bank. You know, for a Standard Bank. Mobile wallet in Ned Bank. You know, for a Ned Bank. Mobile wallet in Eco Cash. You know, for a good item Eco Cash. It mustn't be that Kuti Moon. I don't want to go to the bank from another Eco Cash. We end up to the bank. That should not be allowed. Eco case should only be for sending and receiving for short term. And because in the people are going gap, and then there must be a Beirut change, a formal market for the retail forex. So that can achieve a kuno gundina mazig. Do not go in a Beirut change, do change a mariangu, and I'm out. Then let's look at uh, if I've left another story. Tatawa says, Zanama Cheso, Zanu PF has won two elections. Yesterday, uh, uncontested almost because when Macha Misa Wakata Wacha contest my election, so city of Harare and the municipality of Chinoy, Yapa Zanu, uh, Zanu Yakupinda, uh, Ruzani Hilda, and Zugadza Ignatius, they won the election for Zanu PF over there. So slowly, uh, 
ZANU PF is becoming the party in, in the in the urban local authorities. Then my a meeting I can zero between uh, Prophet Makandiwa and uh, Evidence Chari. Uh, it's over here. Uh, I, I just thought I could share with you the shared by Evidence Chari. Uh, Evidence Chari and this guti akazo pesa se nyaya zake zanga chirwani mama Prophet. But uh, what I know is that munaruru wani ma prophet stere kudalika wa nuese ni yubet angel uh, aru ita ma, ma fights ni ma prophet ese uh, every day so let's recap uh, and then we'll go to the comments we say the Zimbabwe government is refusing to accept the zig the swipe they don't want it yesterday the swipe was working started to work but they are refusing to accept the swipe they want to go back the US dollar and particularly the ministry of foreign affairs and international trade and the uh, registrar general's office they are refusing to accept swipe. They are refusing to accept ZIG. So the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe, they need to go over there. The Minister of Finance needs to go over there. Mnangawa needs to order people in government to accept the ZIG. Otherwise, she not doona. She touch ZIG. Then she not And this is going to happen very, very soon if they don't deal with it. And the government, they must break their policies. So to now, we are not going to being put on the fire. Ngabaite uh, accept their, their policies and, and their products. Saka kana wachiti jisa porridge. Ngabata ngeva nanja. Ngabawa ne utirunu pisa se. You know, like the mothers in the village. Kudara wana mother kana wachifi damana. Waita sikuti waru kudone za... I used to feel sorry for the babies. Let's go. Ndoshu lita government in Zimbabwe. Iru kuti feeder porridge ne speed. And... Um, I used to test the porridge. Test your porridge, Zimbabwe government. The zig is there. Take the swipe. Now let's go to the comments. Mukoma Mutsa is saying, why introduce zigs while the government can't use it? Yes, this is a bad, bad problem. And yesterday I was talking to some guys in government. Mijivati, Zimbabwe, if you want the zig to work, all transactions should be in zig. That will solve it. If you try to put anything else as a transaction next to the zig, the zig is going to drop, and we're going to be following the chat over here. And then Mkoma MSA, zig hasn't been issued to public yet. Come back, why do you try to first? Mkoma MS, the Zim switch is up. Uh, they, they've already started transacting. You can now swipe. Uh, so today, Kanamuchida and M Town, all prices are now in zig. If you go to town today, all prices are now in zig. So you can actually now go and swipe your money in town. But even the government, our school, they are refusing to take that money. They don't want to, to accept the swipe. That's why they suspend. They stopped operating. I'm not even talking about lies here. Go to the newspapers and look. You see what I'm talking about. Uh, and then Mkoma Prince says, this is a panakwa you know, two sheets of panongoda US dollar. Yes. And Mkoma Prince and Dakangano could say something else. The Zig currency note is no longer coming on the 30th. So the governor is saying it's now coming after the 30th. So look very carefully at that statement. It's no longer coming on the 30th. It's coming after the 30th. So it could be after a day, after a month, <laughs> or after 10 years. Gavai to 10 years in Difare. And then Mkoma Pride is saying, Gavai, you claim to know much. 2028, Ndiyan Arikupinda, because Idi, I think, 12 years, uh, this week, uh, 2028, uh, Mnangagwa is going to be out very, very soon. According to my sources, uh, it's going to be out very, very soon. There is a new political order coming. Uh, I always tell you about the third force. On Saturday, I'm going to unpack for you the spiritual dimension and why these guys are performing rituals. Uh, the clothes of the nation, where they are, and what it means, what is going to happen spiritually. At Ishige 2028, there is a lot that is happening on the spiritual side, which won't take us to 2028. And then Mkoma King started saying, then read again my first comment. The notes will come to an end at the end of the month, but we all accounts are now in Zig. I've just checked my balance, which means Zig is now circulating electronically. Yes, you are correct, Mkoma Kingston. May say Makuto Shanza Zig. Uh, today, Zig is working. Government is just refusing to take it. That's all. So, Mangunjga, Akayenda, Zig, Nez, Zim, WL, Akayenda. 
mshayavano akawa ni zigi but the problem is mshayavano hana power uh, let, let me re repeat this mshayavano hana power he lacks the necessary clout to make change the reserve bank of zimbabwe ano tanga fona na mnanga kwa kuti president ndo ita ere ish kana mchizi ano zi turn around expert hapu nzi munu ano fu ano muka makuseni and he writes a plan and he looks at the system and says kuti apa pari broken let's fix let's re-engineer here and there mshayavano is not that guy mshayavano is a technician ma technician vano are very junior hapa pani zikufunga zinu zirukumbiri so yani kutsana ngore kuti strategist ano ita se strategist ano tanga ne bigger picture achidzika mshayavano ano tanga ne pasi achikwira no problem ya mshayavano that's why achiti vano ma trolls kana mungata sa muna anoti munu i troll so rauta atereri is just like mangunjika that's the problem with mshayavano are technical reserve bengo zimbabwe hidi munu are technical you mustn't be technical with the reserve bengo zimbabwe you must be someone a turn around specialist and you must have cloud uh, when you say you must have cloud it means you can have office you not secretary buda buda sector wa mangunjika and you can kuona munu <laughs> did you hear what I said sector wa mangunjika yako zini zini ndiye sector wa mshaya vanu sinore wa kuti mangunjika na mshaya vanu they are the same person uh, behavior yao yaka fanana inini kana ndi chipinda mungu imbo ndi kapu wa authority ndi no tangane kukwada bura chi system chiripo so uyu mshaya vanu aru kutaza kukwada bura chi system chiripo has to go on that is his problem he cannot do it uh, and he won't do it uh, that is why asinga kwa nisi kupama orders to the market eh gono ai kumukira ai usiku ine na used to work at trust bank muchipedza kwa vara dore nyuma loka gono ai shika ovura chibank chenyu oshandisa anonzi ma cutters ma bolt cutters muchisuka makuseni hamuchabvumidzwa kupinda mbenki ndo zvaita gono anga ine authority odo aita ma mistakes anga ine authority uyu aripo uyu eh mushaya vanhu hana authority haziyi kuti ino gadzirwa se reserve bank how do you fix the reserve bank the reserve bank of zimbabwe is broken the problem is in the reserve bank of zimbabwe and the problem is in the zimbabwe government vanhu vari kuura chi currents vanhu vari government ne vanhu vari mu reserve bank so first before awe ku market ano fanwa kutanga akwadabura vanhu vari mu reserve bank odzinga sector wa mangunjwa odzinga security guard ano gada pa door odzinga deputy governor odzinga zuma senior manager zvanda katawa nezuro oita switch around the bank muno fanwa kupisa mu reserve bank otsvaga mbavha dzese dziri kuba cash dzino dzira nema ne black market dziri mu reserve bank dzichita sekuti dziri ku kunonzi kupi kuna gulf so they must make sure they get rid of the rot in the system but mshavano ana cloud ana authority asata akuziya power ya kesa reserve bank governor ari kuita zvikoverenga buku like mshavano asata ita chinhu anotanga anotsvaga kuti reserve bank act not kuti that is dzungu so what do you need to do kana uri reserve bank governor unofana kutsvaga chair yako oita sit back and say kuti at the end of everything what do you want to see ndo question yano fa kuzvibvunza mshavano kuti okay kuti zvishande who are the key players or the stakeholders munangagwa government departments banks customers and vanhu vanoshanda mu reserve bank otsvaga kuti problem ndiyane otanga kuvhisa ma problems ozotsvaga kuti kuti tisvike kuti kuda kuenda treat us say ndo zvofa kuti a turn around expert achitaura futi kuti asachinje ma statement ake he is changing his statement on a daily basis first he said the the zig was going to be available on monday then it wasn't available then he said it was going to be available on the 30th of april now he's saying after the 30th of april uh, the zig is over there he is not told the market kuti what is happening communication is dead uh, he is not talking and father ema here akampa zvino 11 zvokuita which is it done so mkoma ms the fish was on the head is it has to go if you want to fix the rot arab is it an ew economy i do agree uh, but ed is going uh, ed is nothing now in, in this matrix uh, ed has capitulated the problem that we have now is 
he is trying to put in place his sons or his wife or a relative or someone else other than general Chuenga. so that fight is still coming but at the moment the problem the john mshaivan authority one step forward one step back so every day we have a different statement and have a government government especially the gov these government departments you won't manage them you know stop the the rot because the rot is within the system of zimbabwe the government of zimbabwe is the one that is rotten the reserve bank of zimbabwe is the one that is rotten currents are on the street if the the reserve bank of zimbabwe gets the act together and the Zimbabwe government gets the act together, this thing is going to work. Zanu PF is just shouting from the sidelines. But the real corrupt godfathers, very more reserve bank. Uh, and then uh, Peter, this is the last comment I'm reading. Is I asked you, Gambakwe, why are you using Shona so much? When some people on this channel don't understand English, who will learn at school. Please do better or just ask us to subscribe. I'm so sorry, Mkoma, uh, Peter Tosh. I actually realized that I've been using a lot of Shona. And I promise you, uh, in the whole 14 years of Gambaku Media, I've never uttered a Shona word in my broadcasts, except for the past month. So uh, I'm too happy. Let me let me say that in English. <laughs> so I'm going to stop on that Farisa because I mustn't be talking so much Shona. I know that there are many people watch here, uh, including. Uh, people from international uh Gambago media is now the source of news for everyone so i apologize and i take your point uh mkoma peter tosh i will never uh, do that again and i i apologize for this uh mkoma peter tosh thank you very much and and I, i'm so sorry about this so le let's recap uh, that is the top story the zimbabwe government departments are refusing to accept the zig swipe and let's see what they want to take because they've stopped the operation so these departments I talked about, they stopped. They don't want to operate anymore. And let's see today, could, are they going to be able to enforce? Is Mnangaba going to make the order? Because when the salaries of the civil servants come out, they'll be in zig. So what happens there? If now some people want US dollars, where would the people get those US dollars? So that is a, a thing that needs to be solved as soon as possible. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Uh, and... Um, I hope that Tim Shavan will stop calling people trolls and actually invite people to his office. Uh, if you invite me, Shavan, I'll come over there and I'll give you some advice on how many people to fire and how to fire them. Uh, the Reserve Bank is full of uh, uh, currency manipulators, uh, backdoor operators, uh, corrupt people, uh, and the connection between the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe and the black market uh, is like a wide road. Uh, <laughs> it's as if some of the people even come to the basement to park to get money so let's sort that out let's sort out, uh, sort out the reserve bank of zimbabwe first have some clout have some authority Michavan. don't be that person that walks in and thinks the system is fine tear up that system of the reserve bank of zimbabwe then go to Mnangaba and tell him to order everyone to use the zig and you see what this thing will work then go to eco cash make sure that they don't transact from eco cash wallets go to the banks make sure they don't put money in the uh, banking hall they only take money in the atm both the deposits and withdrawals and make sure that this money is respected so thank you very much everybody uh, i really enjoy talking to you here and our tiktok is doing very very well we've started to publish snippets every day on, on our tiktok and we'll hopefully grow there and start going live there also thank you very much everyone and a good day to you all